Steel Knight 20 demonstrates the Marine Corps' utility as America's expeditionary force and readiness, and it validates our ability to fight and win against a peer and near peer adversary. And what's great about this year's iteration, it builds on the previous exercise scenarios to create the largest, most complex steel knight that we've conducted to date. A regimental size amphibious assault by our 1st Marine Regiment, supported by 3rd Fleet. When the Navy and Marine Corps team gets together, it's the strongest and most lethal fighting pair in the world. We're constantly looking for ways to better integrate with our U.S. Navy's 3rd Fleet to ensure that the 1st Marine Division is optimized for naval expeditionary warfare in contested spaces and is purpose-built and task-organized to facilitate and support the fleet as a fleet marine force. It's required as a mission essential task to support major combat operations from the 1st Marine Division. And by increasing the size and scope and difficulty, we increase the readiness of our forces and the confidence that prepares them to be successful to execute dynamic air assault operations while forward deployed. These operations ensure that 1st Marine Division is going to be ready to conduct full-spectrum air assault operations anywhere in the world in a contested environment against a capable peer or near-peer adversary. It's not just man-made obstacles that we have to contend with on the battlefield, it's also natural obstacles. And a wet gap crossing is a movement of troops and equipment across a major water obstacle, such as a river. Having this capability in our arsenal expands the different types of terrains in which our Marines can fight and win. In any climate and place, the men and women of the 1st Marine Division are ready and able to negotiate any terrain and obstacle they encounter. And this wet gap crossing will be the largest one that we've ever done, moving an entire armored battalion across a bridge constructed by 1st MLG's bridge company. Well, combined arms breach is central to the Marine Corps doctrine. There are going to be times when you have to reduce an enemy's strong point, where obstacles placed by the enemy have got to be cleared so you can continue along an avenue of approach and support the commander's scheme maneuver as it enables further offensive operations. We train as we fight, the Steel Knight Breach will combine supporting arms, organic fires, operations in the information environment, and maneuver in such a way that creates a no-win situation for our enemy. Additionally, this exercise provides us the opportunity to conduct combined arms operations, naval fleet integration, and the fundamental blocking and tackling warfighting skills, all of which maintain our continuum of readiness as a critical component of the Joint Force. You know the only thing better than being a Marine is being a Marine in the 1st Marine Division. Semper Fidelis from all of us in the Blue Diamond here at Exercise Steel Night 20 and have a happy and safe holiday season.